Getting your PR, your permanent residency status, is an important step in getting employed in Ontario, and you can finally remain in Canada without worrying about limitations in employment and your immigration status. But then you get a stunt driving charge with penalties of suspension, fines, and possible jail. So how will this affect my PR? Well, let's investigate. Stunt driving does include the possibility of up to six months in jail. So while this is a possibility with a stunt driving conviction in Ontario, it is actually referred to as something called a quasi-criminal punishment. And this means that although it resembles that of a criminal penalty, it actually does not affect your criminal record. This may be hard to digest. How can jail not be considered criminal? Well, a quasi-criminal um, proceeding refers to treating an act in a traffic offense as though it were occurring in a criminal proceeding. So while it is treated similarly, the matters are not held in criminal proceedings, only in provincial offenses court, which impacts only your driving record. But jail is still jail. Won't my employer or immigration um, see this? Well, the short answer is no. Employers and immigration services do, do background checks that include criminal record checks. But because stunt driving is not a criminal offense, even a worst case scenario with jail will never affect a criminal record. It will only ever affect your driving abstract. Now, of course, if you're convicted of stunt driving, um, you may have an issue getting a job that involves driving because your employer may possibly get a copy of your driving abstract and see that you actually have a stunt driving conviction and maybe they'll consider you unfit for the job. But again, this is a driving issue, not a criminal issue. So aside from my PR, how about just avoiding jail altogether? Well, this is the best move. It really doesn't matter that stunt driving doesn't affect your PR or a criminal record. Jail is still jail and suspension is still suspension and fines are still fines. So none of it is good. So get advice from a law firm that deals with stunt driving and get a strategy together to keep these penalties from affecting your ability to drive.